Hello, everybody, and welcome to our virtual back to school night. My name is Mr. Dunn. In a second here, Ms. Curtis is going to introduce herself, and we are going to talk about your child's geometry class. Hi, I'm Ms. Curtis. Um, these are the topics covered in Big Ideas that we are starting with Chapter 3. Um, chapters 1 and 2 basically just review the basics that are taught in middle school. So for materials for class, we ask that your child has a charged Chromebook, something to write in or write on. Um, we use Plickers. They are a participation paper, and it's a way for us to gauge what the student's knowledge is and how well they are understanding the lesson. Um, a calculator for geometry with the graphing is not as needed. Um, any kind of calculator will do, but if you do want to buy or invest in a calculator for high school, we do recommend the TI-84. It is not mandatory, but this way it could be used all through high school. The textbook that we use is Big Ideas, and we do have an online textbook available that we use for homework and different um, study guides that the students have access to. Now to our grading. Our grading is broken down, as you see. Um, traditionally, as you, I mean, it's pretty obvious if, if it comes to a test, whatever the grade is on the test, that's what goes into that test. Um, the quiz, same thing. Now the two, the two questions that kind of can differ from teacher to teacher or classwork and homework. The first I'll talk about homework. For us, we do not grade homework on accuracy. We grade it on effort. Um, in myself and Ms. Curtis's class, we believe a kid shouldn't be punished for making mistakes on homework. In fact, that's the time that if there are mistakes, that mistakes should be made. The idea would be to come to class and we go over the assignment that if there are mistakes that uh, the students would ask questions and kind of clear that up by the time we get to the quiz and test. So homework, if you ever see a zero in the home in the uh, grade book for homework, it's not because they got every question wrong. It's because they did not attempt the homework. Um, it's graded out of a two point scale. Two points would mean they gave effort or effort on it. A one point, it would be maybe they did half or you could tell there wasn't much effort. And obviously a zero is just no effort, did not try. Um, so that's how we do our homework. The classwork participation, is kind of a two-part thing. Uh, myself and Ms. Curtis usually put a do now up on the board, and a lot of the times that do now is a is a question that's submitted online. Sometimes if we're on a Zoom, we kind of check to see how the kids are doing effort-wise on that do now. Uh, it's just a quick way to get the kids engaged, and uh, that is part of their classwork grade. And also, every class so far, at least every class we, we have or can, we've Zoomed. So the students at home, just like you're watching the desktop that uh, actually we're on Miss Curtis's computer. So the desktop that you're seeing on Miss Curtis's computer, uh, right through your screen, that's exactly what the, your children will be seeing in uh, math class and have been seeing. So the only tidbit about Zoom that some kids, I know we've reminded them a bunch of times, but some kids still aren't doing 100% of the time is they must put video on. So just like you're seeing me doing this and you know I'm here, I didn't just turn it on and go to sleep. Uh, that's kind of what the what the situation is for every class. It's not just uh, our geometry class. It is kind of every class throughout the board. So every every time we go on our class Zoom link, which is found in Google Classroom, uh, they do have to have their their video showing. Now, speaking of Google Classroom, Miss Curtis is going to get a little more into that. So on Google Classroom is where all the students can find the do nows that Mr. Dunn talked about class notes for the lessons, um, study guides, and worked out answer keys. A lot of times for math with doing homework online, they don't get to see the all of the steps in between and same thing with us. So the students have been uploading their work and we've been trying to upload um, answer keys with all the steps going through. So students can kind of correct their stuff in their notebooks, whether they're home or in class. The daily Zoom links are posted in Classroom this way to avoid confusion. When they're home, they use the same link to log in every day for our class. I'll get into a little bit with the extra help Zoom links, but I do want to mention IXL is a great math program online that helps students um, with certain skills. There's skills that go along with the Big Ideas textbook, so they can use IXL as another reference that also gives worked out examples. On the Rutherford School um, website, all of the teachers' emails there are there as well as their linked up um, homework sites that go to our Google Classroom. 
For extra help, Mr. Dunn and I are available before school in person. So he is in Mr. or he is in room 222, which is the room that um, your children have geometry in. I'm downstairs in 112, so we're available in person for help. After school, every day we are on Zoom from 117 to 232. That's a different link, but it is also posted in Google Classroom. It's labeled as the extra help link and we're available every single day after school. So if they want to go home and then attempt their homework, but they still not understanding, they can go on and we can help them out that way. National Honor Society is also a student-based um, program for extra help that they will be also available on Zoom if they're more comfortable working with a student. And just actually to go back quick to what I was talking about with the grading, one thing I did kind of forget to put in there is that our assessments, that at least as long as this is going on with the with the half virtual, some fully remote, uh, it are mostly, I mean, 98% of them are probably all online. We're going to be using tools like Ms. Curtis said with IXL, also Big Ideas, which all your kids have signed up for already. So that's how we're going to assess along with all the other things is logging on to the Zooms. If at any if at any moment you guys have questions or something that we weren't clear about, feel free to reach out. Our emails are at the bottom. You can find them on the school website. It is um, it's something that it, don't don't feel afraid or like you're a, a pest or a bother at all. It's something that we deal with all the time and we're here to clear up any questions or concerns you may have with your kids. So if there's nothing else, um, thank you guys for attending and enjoy your virtual the rest of your virtual school night with all these talks so have a good night bye bye